Parker, where are you? The committee will be here soon. We need to run an equipment check. I'm almost there. Blocks away. <sighs> Guess I'll just do it myself. No, don't. It's not safe. <sighs> Gotta love Doc's enthusiasm, but sometimes it gets him into trouble. Better get there before he hurts himself. Sorry I'm late. Oh. You started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on. Dr. Octavius, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. That was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. Graduation. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. 
Maybe more. How many lab fires have we seen now, Otto? Three? Four? That's how you know we're progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is I don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang. Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. The current tank. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Bad shape, little guy. Let's see what's wrong with you. Get burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre check, I would have caught this. Servo control. Balance the voltage.
finished. Let's see if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double-check his work. You know, just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Limbic Bridge. We're looking for results, not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have. Trust me, our work grows more promising every day. That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. <laughs>